Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how you can export a movie file with alpha channel embedded in it. So I have an image here, a rendered image with alpha channel. I'm going to drop it here so now I can see it in After Effects. And you can do this technique in any software that exports videos so it's not limited to After Effects to export with alpha channel. I have this image here and uh, just to make sure that I do have alpha channel in the background I'm going to create a new solid control Y is the shortcut and I'm gonna use something vibrant so I can notice the background instead of using a black color which would be pointless in this case so to investigate if I do have the alpha channel I can either go with the approach of including a solid layer in the background or I can also go with the approach of clicking on this button here that is going to show me the existing alpha channel so obviously this is going to be much faster but the technique of having the solid is kind of more universal that's why I try to also that's why I also wanted to cover it I'm going to create a very simple animation here so let me erase this solid so it doesn't confuse you it's not necessary for the process it was just for investigation so I'm going to create now some movement So now the animation looks like this. Again, it's very, very, very rough, very simple, straightforward. I could set up a camera, 3D camera, and sort of make it feel like kind of 2.5D, but this should be good. Now the goal is to export. So Control M is going to prompt me into the Add to Render Queue. So once you do that, you can go here, click on the Output module, and then in the output module, I'm going to change this format into QuickTime. And then I'm going to change the format option to animation. Make sure it does have animation. Now here is the trick. You have channels RGB. You just put in here RGB and alpha. As soon as you do that, Notice how this becomes millions of colors plus. Plus refers to the alpha. So if I go back to RGB, you can see here millions of color, but RGB and alpha, it's going to give you that plus. And uh, pretty much that's it. And once you set where your render goes, then you can see the render button here. And that clip should be exported as a video with alpha channel embedded into the video itself. The alternative, if you cannot use a video, instead you can use exporting a sequence of images with alpha. So to do that option instead, instead of going to QuickTime, you go to something that actually supports alpha channel, such as PNG sequence, or you can go with TIFF sequence. Now, I have experienced a lot of issues with a software like Unreal, where PNG images with alpha even though I do check that they do have alpha, it would give you some really weird glitches with the pixelation and it, it looks really horrible, like very, very strange and just horrifying. So the safest bet is to go with TIFF sequence. So with the TIFF sequence, I'm going to go with um, this option here. And then you can see here the TIFF sequence does provide those millions of colors. So in that case, once you hit OK, you specify where you want it to be, and then it's going to export to you a sequence of TIFF images with Alpha Channel. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful.